So there were a couple of things that I thought needed to change. Uh, we needed more opportunity for collaboration with students, um, greater opportunities for feedback. Um, also, we were getting hit with so many disparate tools that we needed a way to pull all those tools together into one space. And um, we started using Teams for that purpose, collating different resources, different tools inside it. Um, but then students started to realise that many of the things that we were wanting from those, those other tools were actually being delivered by Teams itself. So I think going forward, it would really be the sort of launch pad for, for learning for most of our courses. So um, soft launch, um, as opposed to forcing people to adopt a particular tool, um, we were quite aware of the range of things that we were asking our students to do. So um, we give them an opportunity to engage and if they want to engage, they can. Other than that, we really repurpose the information and content inside Teams to different formats that they're familiar with. Um, and it's really up to them to decide how they want to engage with the course material. I think it's very polarised. Those students that are braver engage very quickly with tools. Um, I think the communication components of Teams is actually the, one of the strong points of it, the ability to communicate in a range of different ways um, and that, that students will like. Um, I think there are still going to be those students that are quite hesitant to engage because it's something new, it's something different and um, the, 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 there needs to be more formalised onboarding of these tools to really get all our student core to engage and that has to come very early on in their programme. I think the most important thing is to play with it first because without playing with these tools and understanding the capability of it, it's really difficult for us to understand how a student is going to engage with it. So in our school we, we really try to um, get our staff to, to play around with each of the tools that are there and see how it fits in their courses and from there they can scaffold it into their learning and teaching framework. Um, so we, we run playtime in the school so um, we do that on a, on a Monday for around an hour where staff uh, can play around with each one of these tools, we learn off each other, we new new capabilities and, and much of that then eventually will flow on to how we deliver our learning and teaching material.